Okay, the plan is to use the 2x1 timber ratchet strapped onto the propane tank as a straight edge. So I have two sides of the door to cut with this and um, it's just going to help me keep the, the, the line straight so that you know I don't have too much of a gap when the door is cut out. Okay, so here we go. Okay, just to show what I've made the hinges from, uh, in my opinion, you know, if you live next door to a shop, you can go and buy a couple of metal hinges and just bolt or weld them on. It's a lot quicker than what I'm doing. But this one is uh, 60 millimeters long. It's about a quarter of an inch thick. Um, this one, 40 millimeters long. Um, same again. And uh, the long one is going to be connected on the door. And the short one is going to be... Um, connected to the tank. Now this one is deliberately drilled off center um, so that it hinges away from the door and as, the, as this uh, mechanism rotates it doesn't um, it doesn't foul up on the door. Okay I have the, uh, the paint ground off the cylinder of the propane tank and what I want to do now is set up for the hinges. Um, the door openings are cut all, almost all the way through. They go as far as the corners and I've kind of left the corner bits in so that the uh, the doors remain in place. Once the the, uh, the the hinges are put on, what I'm going to do then is just finish off the, the wells. There's only you know a couple of millimetres, uh, eighth of an inch, that sort of thing, um, of metal remaining uh, on all four corners to cut. So the deal now is I've made a couple of hinges, or I, I've cut off some metal. What I've got is I've rounded off and drilled. That's about um, 70 mil. And this one's about 40 mil with a hole in it. So I've made these pieces. The long piece is going on the door. The short piece is going to be welded. Uh, actually, both sides are going to be welded. Uh, the long piece to the door and the short piece to the uh, to the propane tank. Um, and what I'm going to do to keep things square and straight is I've put some um, threaded stock through the holes and it lines them all up. So when I weld them up, um, the door should be where it's going to be you know, should stay where I put it. If it does move, I can just put a couple of washers or, you know, give it a tap of a hammer. It'll straighten it out. But, uh, so I'm going to set up for welding now. Okay, so I've welded the hinges on. I've left uh, treaded stock all the way down um, here, but I will be changing that for bolts. But as you can see, doors. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put um, a portal, you know, like a, like a little window in this one so I can see the flame. And, you know, so I can, you know, it looks better, but also so I can see that it's burning properly without going out looking for smoke. Um, and that's about it, as much as I'm going to do this evening. But just a, a look at the hinges. I still have water inside it from when I... Um, when I purged it, so I gotta get that out. So there's my hinges. I have it set up that I can remove the door if I want just by lifting up. Both doors are the same. This one. And uh and they close nicely as well. You now if you cut it with um those very skinny angle grinder discs, you end up with very nice cut. Um it is totally possible to cut this with a jigsaw, absolutely. Um, I don't know how many blades you go through, but certainly it can be done. The metal is a, uh, it's very tough, but it's not, you know, mega thick. I don't know what it is, maybe two millimeters thick, something like that, mill and a half. Um, so uh, more as I progress the project.